<laughs> Good morning. It is 6 a.m. I'm driving, so. And I am on my way to Mount Carmel East because I am getting to scrub in slash observe a C-section today at 7 a.m. So that's a lot to think about, obviously. So that it only takes like 25 minutes to get there, but I'm 50 minutes early mainly to get coffee. But also, I need time to mentally prepare to see a child exiting the womb. So I'll keep you updated. All right, it is 7:02. Oh, why did I sign up for me? Nope. Okay. Oh my God. We're at the hospital, as you can see in the background. Um, I'm nervous. I'm gonna throw up in the womb <laughs> when the baby's coming out. So that's a, that's something. That's about it. We'll see if I can keep you updated. I'm not sure. Walking in. <laughs> I feel weird walking, but we are walking in. Um. That's all I have for you guys. <laughs> I <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. So I'm home from that experience. I am a lot more awake right now, <laughs> as you can tell. But um, I ended up getting to watch more than just a C-section since I was um, shadowing. I usually shadow a, sur a cardiovascular surgeon, and but when I um, shadowed today, I got to shadow two anesthesiologists. One of them was like the head anesthesiologist, so he was running the entire thing. And with him, I got to watch two nerve blocks, which I don't know if you know what that is, but like they instead of like giving anesthesia, they like block the nerves for like surgeries, more for like orthopedic surgeries. So this one was like shoulder replacements and they block the nerves so like they won't feel it like after the surgery instead of having to use anesthesia for that. It's a lot more effective that way. And then um, with the other anesthesiologist, that's not the head one, I got to watch two robotic, robot, it was either two or three robotic hysterectomies, which, oh my god, that was a lot. <laughs> but it was so cool because um, I got to, the robotic way is that they like, they like stick like six ports into the stomach and they like put cameras in through that way and then they get behind like a machine and have like nunchucks kind of if that makes sense and then they like navigate from there so that was really cool and then I also got to watch the c-section which honestly it was I didn't throw up but I did feel a little lightheaded but that was not going to stop me from watching it because it was really cool but I just don't think going into OBGYN field is for me. <laughs> but um, I was there for, I think, like six hours, like seven to like two, maybe. And I'm about to go to work. Normally, I don't skip school, but I have been slacking in my internship hours. So I, that's why I skipped school and half my teachers were gone. So I was going to have subs anyway. But normally, school's in my routine for day in the life. <laughs> so yeah, I'll update you soon. Yeah, as I said earlier, I'm headed to work. Well, about to be. And usually, when I get home from school or internship, I have like an hour to two hours to do homework before I head in. But um, if I don't have work, I'll do something else. It's fine. But today, I have like three. So, but it's a Friday, so I kind of did homework, I kind of did nothing, and it was fun, I'm excited, I love work, <laughs> love work, <laughs> yeah, I'll check in later. Alright, so I'm done with work, and I figured I'd probably go over just, like, the basics of what I do, and, like, as an intern, kind of. So, I intern under Dr. Lawrence, and he's a cardiovascular surgeon, but he specifies an a-lift surgery so i've seen a lot of those <laughs> as in like mainly that's all what i've seen but i'm interested in becoming a surgeon so that's why i wanted to shadow under him and i've always been interested 
in like the medical field and then like I've always liked dissecting things so that's why I wanted to become a surgeon so like when I did shadow the um an anesthesiologist today I was a little bit interested because they did make some good points about how like I have a little bit more stability if I'm an anesthesiologist in my life and like they did, one guy was like you can just like pack up and leave like that doesn't I don't know if that makes sense but like as a surgeon you spend your entire like life making your like practice but anesthesiologists you can just if you need to move you can move and you'll have a job which it was interesting because like looking in the grand scheme of my life like I guess it'd be fun to have fun <laughs> I guess looking into the grand scheme of my life it'd be nice to have stability but like it's not as interesting to me, and I figured if it's the rest of my life, I want something that, like, I'm fascinated with and is different every day, and that's why I was interested in surgery. And I think interning under Dr. Lawrence definitely confirmed my interest. I was scared I was going to, like, not be able to stomach anything, but I definitely- I survived! <laughs> um, for, like, a daily basis on what we did in internship, we either- I got to go in and watch surgeries, or- we had like a research database project, um, so sometimes I'd go in and like collect data if we didn't have anything. But I wasn't allowed at a lot of hospitals because of COVID and just regulations in general as I'm a minor. But I did get to see a fair share. I plan, right now the plan is to go pre-med for college, so internship just confirmed that. And I think... It'll be biology. Um, I'm committed to Stetson for rowing, so I'm guessing going there and I'll just m major in biology on the pre med track there. Um, that's about it. That's a day in my life. <laughs> Thanks for watching.